it looks like Helldivers 2 is set to be the biggest game of the year. And while it was initially labeled as a classic over the shoulder third person shooter, this is not quite true. And there is a slight learning curve to this game. God. So here are a few things that beginners need to know right off the bat. And to make this digestible, let's make a couple of umbrella terms to categorize them. Make sure you stick around for the biggest tip out of them all. Let's call them the boat, the bombs and bits, and the boys. The boat is obviously your ship. When you first get in, you are not going to be able to access this menu. So let's come back to it in a second. You've got the armory here, and we don't know what this does yet. This is the universe map. There are two sides to it right now. This is really, really important, so listen carefully. Do not fight the automatrons in your first mission as you will most likely click on this evacuation mission. This is basically rescuing civilians and it is impossible to complete solo as your first mission. Let me know in the comments if you did complete a rescue mission on your first drop. Head to the yellow side and fight the bugs. You can adjust your difficulty here. Make sure it's on the easiest setting, which interestingly isn't called easy. To start the mission, head to the drop pod. Okay, I gotta find these help pods now. I'm guessing they're down here. Uh, is this a... Nope. A, a help pod. Um, is this a help pod? Nope. Uh, help pod, help pod. Here we go, this has to be a help pod, yep. Yeah. Bombs and Bits is all about your weapons. These can be broken down into carry and dropped weaponage. The Liberator is the weapon you carry into mission. However, Dropped weapons are much better, like the Solowart machine gun. You will notice the difference in damage once you start utilizing this weapon. It takes down what the Lib struggles to even wound. Bombs and Bits also covers your ship dropped ordnance. And once you have finished your first mission, you'll be able to head over to this terminal and purchase more strats. It took me a few missions to figure out that you can scroll the menu to see other early game ordnance. As someone who is also learning as he goes, I can give you this one tip when it comes to choosing which to purchase first. Bugs are merely enemies who will rush to close the gap between you and them. This means that often, a well-placed orbital strike will quickly get left behind. But an orbital strike will decimate a troop of bots who are bunched together and firing back at you. A turret will rip apart a charging group of bugs yet won't even get a shot off if it's dropped into the line of enemy fire. So, turrets are great against bugs, and strikes are effective against bunched up bots. Good tips so far? Pay it back with a like. You can buy more guns and armor by pressing R when you're on your boat. Don't hoard your coinage. You'll make plenty of this as you complete missions. The main goal is to acquire more types of armor and weapons so you can find your playstyle. Finally, and quite possibly the most important of all, is the boys. This game is not meant to be played solo, so don't. When you first start, you are not likely to have friends in game. You can make them, and quickly. There are two ways to make sure you're not fighting alone. The first way is to hit the matchmaking function in the universe map. This will send you down into someone's mission. I have found that sometimes there isn't anyone calling for support. So, I use the second way. Once you have deployed, open your strats by holding control and pull out the SOS beacon. Once dropped, it will allow anyone in matchmaking to join your squad. The best part? That squad mate will join your ship crew and can continue to run missions with you until one of you leaves. This will give you the opportunity to add them to your friends list. Helldivers 2 is not meant to be played solo, so build out the boys and settle in for the long war. With this rocket, you can take their ships down. Oh, awesome. Oh, damn, that's hot. 